Uh, we've been playing around in the background for the last little bit with some new technology NVIDIA has been, been using, and I wanted to just share a little bit of that with you guys. Uh, so NVIDIA just a couple weeks ago announced their Grid platform, and Grid is basically uh, their multi-tiered answer to cloud computing. So everyone's always heard about this whole cloud computing, you know, I can go to the Amazon cloud or whatever and use workstations in the cloud instead of actually owning a full-on workstation. Well, the problem that's always been in that world is, great, that cloud gave you processors, but it didn't give you GPUs. So if you needed you know, a six gig of RAM, Quadro 6000 graphics card to drive your stuff, well, that really didn't exist. It's, there was no way to virtualize that. So NVIDIA has been working on that problem. And basically, they have three different levels. And we're going to specifically look at the third one. But I'll just mention they've got a cloud gaming answer that they're working on, which will actually allow people to play games in the cloud but have full graphics processor capability. There's an enterprise version where people can actually deploy Citrix VMware clients that have graphics processors. But what we've actually got plugged in in the back is the visual computing appliances, the grid VCA. This is designed to be like a, a mini cloud for your company that actually sits in your server room. So if I just move along here, you can see this is the appliance. It actually has up to 16 uh, Kepler 5000 graphics cards built into it. And it is, for all intents and purposes, this headless machine. Anyone can come into your studio now, type in a quick address, install a little tiny app, and suddenly they could have a full monster workstation sitting at some you know, old, beaten up three-year-old MacBook Air. But they can now have the power of four Kepler graphics cards running into their viewports. So here you can see we're just showing examples of all of our different software running in it. But what makes it really cool is the ability to change the configuration. So if you've got the 16 GPU version of this box, you could have 16 users all log into the machine and all get this all passing down to them. But you could have you know, four users that are doing a whole bunch of real intensive graphics rendering, and each one of them could get four separate GPUs. Or if you've got one guy that's really insane, you could have one user get 16 graphics cards, like 16 times 6 gig of RAM. It's like it starts to add up pretty quick. But it's all funneling into whatever they show up with as their little machine. And if you think about this from a kind of running a facility point of view, so say you're a small shop, you know, you have 15 guys, whatever, that big job rolls in and it's like, oh, I got to hire a couple freelancers because there's this new uh, particle thing that I got to do. And we, I don't have anyone that knows that, so I'm going to hire a freelancer. Instead of requiring them either to bring their own like complete rig or they show up, and they don't have to work for three days, but you now have to get someone on your staff to like build up their machine, install all the software, get everything up and running. Now they can literally, they could just show up with their laptop, plug into your network, launch an instance, and this server builds an entire platform for them, shoves it to their viewport. They're working away doing their thing with however many GPUs they need. When they're done the job and they're ready to leave, when they unhook that cable, that virtual machine just vanishes. It's gone. No content was ever on their machine. So when they leave the bu building, nothing proprietary leaves the building with them. All the plugins they were using, everything else that was in your studio stays where it was. So you just don't have to worry about it. Within seconds, you can have them up and running, and seconds later, they're gone. So it makes it very easy for people to do exactly that. Hire in freelancers, get them up and running, and move them through the, move them through the system. So that's just a quick look at this. But just to give you an idea, here I am on my two-year-old Mac, and I'm currently in the Mac OS. And this is actually a window into the grid VCA. So right now you're seeing 3DS Macs running on the grid, running on a Mac. But I'm actually using this, and I'll just blow this up to full now. So it's now the full screen. And you'll see that I've got a scene in here that if I scrub through, I'm actually getting the full performance of my my scene. And let's just go to a specific frame here, something that'll look, look not too bad. Let's say somewhere around there. And you'll notice if I go into my render settings, I'm using iRay, which is a full GPU render. And you can see right now I'm configured off that grid to take two K2 cards. So we got two Kepler 5000 cards feeding the system. And I can basically control all my settings as I normally would. I'm running it as if it was on my machine. And if I hit render, now remember this is, again, a two-year-old Mac not really built for uh, a lot of graphics rendering processor power. But I click on this, it starts to pre-process. This scene's a particularly nasty one because it's completely lit by a sun system that's coming through translucent curtains, bouncing around the room. That's the only lighting system. So on, if I was rendering with my Mac, I'd be looking at you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes just to get something reasonable. And at this point, we're just seconds in, and it's already starting. It's like, oh, yep, yeah, I see where this image is going. But it's actually a pretty nasty calculation. So again, just gives you a quick idea of 
what can happen when you start to be able to virtualize these GPUs. Now, at the moment, this is very much still kind of early stages. We're trying to figure out how it all works and what it'll do. Uh, but by all means, if you want to walk over to the NVIDIA booth and ask a few more questions about how this works, feel free to. I'll also be around if you want to ask questions.